Well, I'm standing outside of Sacramento County's probation headquarters. This is where the county CEO, Navgill, apparently held a five hour planning meeting inside of one of their indoor conference rooms. Now, we're told that some of the folks inside of that meeting actually took their masks off during the meeting and later that night, one of the department heads who attended that meeting tested positive for coronavirus. On Tuesday, supervisors Phil Cerna and Patrick Kennedy sent out a memo to County CEO Nav Gill's office calling his patterned behavior, questionable leadership and decision making into question. They said realizing the weight of this situation and the effect this continues to have on our constituents, the people of Sacramento County, we no longer have confidence in you as the chief executive officer of the County of Sacramento and call for your resignation. Ted Samara, executive director of the United Public Employees Union, which includes just under 3,600 county employees across nearly every department, says this has actually been a long time coming. It's been a failure from the county exec, I believe from the county exec's office on down since the beginning of this. He has failed his employees, he has failed the, uh, the communities and those families. And it's, uh, he shouldn't have to be asked to resign, he should just do it as a goodwill gesture. Greg Fishman, a candidate for the Board of Supervisors District 3 race and currently serving on the SMUD Board of Directors, says he agrees with Supervisor Cerna and Kennedy's memo. His actions really put the whole county senior staff at risk from this disease that they're supposed to be protecting us from. But at some point you have to say, look, this is not working and, and we need somebody in that seat who is going to take this seriously. His opponent in the District 3 race, Rich Desmond, a retired CHP commander, says he'd like to see an investigation happen first. I think we need to do a little bit deeper dive and do exactly what happened, get more of the facts and confirm what has been reported. And if it confirms what has been reported, then I think uh, stepping down and resigning is, the, is an appropriate action. And CEO Nav Gill declined to comment on this matter. Supervisors Kennedy and Cerna were unavailable to do interviews to explain in better detail why they are calling for this resignation. Now, we will continue to stay on this story for you and let you know what happens. Back to you. Arlena Howland reporting live for us tonight. Lena, we thank you.